I'm Ashley, and I'm a reference specialist here. Uh, I'm Joy, and I am the photo archivist. I'm Anne, I'm the audiovisual archivist. And I'm Megan, and I'm the local government records archivist. Libraries and museums, like, had always been kind of like a special place for me. I think for those of us who are fortunate enough to like go to a school with a school library, do like field trips to museums, I think we all have memories of that. I love visiting art museums because it's like that history and art and all together and some of them are like, let's do outside things, let's do interactive exhibits. That was so interesting. I didn't get introduced to archives until like college, but museums, mm -hmm. totally down for any museum. Yep. There's no museum I won't go into. I actually wanted to be in museums and then I got hired on at the HRC and I was like, done! This is what I love. <laughs> I love You can love still go and records. enjoy the museums, but you can do this too. Yeah. How'd you get an archive in? First time in an archive was when I went to volunteer digitizing 16 millimeter film at Texas State Archives and Library Commission. That's um, a, a pretty good place to start out. That's yeah, pretty, so pretty formidable. Baby. Yeah, I know I was. Because we did it in our undergrads. Like, really. Yeah, like, like, I've been there. I got a job um, when I was an undergraduate in my college library, and it ended up being in their special collections archives. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea where it was that I was applying to. But I got there and they're like giving me a tour and they took me back into the stacks and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And that was my first memory. I was sold. I was like, so this is where the history is. This yeah. is where it is. Oh, I found it. I think one of the weirdest, awkwardest, coolest, I don't know how to phrase this, things about North Dakota is their span of records has been really interesting to see like this like snapshot of when North Dakota happened. My favorite part is meeting the people from across the state. I love meeting people from these towns I've never heard of and them sharing, like, them growing up there. I love the local towns, like, communities that they have. They all are very proud of their where they're from. People will call in and talk to us about a potential donation, and then suddenly you're getting their life story. This is amazing. You know that something is working because you've got a piece of their history. The audiovisual collections we have here are like rich and comprehensive. That's my favorite thing about working here. I do enjoy the, the social aspect of the archives and getting to talk to people, see their expressions on their faces or how happy their voices are when you find something about their family forums. Like I want information available to everyone. We're simple people. Yeah. We just like making people happy. <laughs> we love people wanting to use the materials housed here. Ask us questions. Please ask us questions. Yeah. There's a big focus on like public service and mm -hmm. customer service, getting the people what they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Access and Access. usability. Find out more at history.nd.gov archives.